Carl Fritsch from EarthHealing.info. Today we're talking about the vanishing bridges of Kentucky, and therefore they are the covered bridges. When I was young, there were 50 or more of them in this state. Now we're down to 11. The Colville Bridge is right behind us here, and it is a beautiful little bridge. But we lost one this year, March 2021. The longest, the one over in Washington County, burnt down. Three years ago, 2018, we lost one in Mason County, another beautiful little bridge, the Valley Bridge. And this one is a little bit longer than that, but still a very beautiful, one of 11 remaining. We're now looking at the bridge in Mason County, which is one of the 11, but it's not in use, as we can see. Uh, it's the Dover Bridge, 62 feet long. Uh, it was used for a number of years because it was built in 1835. Some would say it's the oldest bridge in Kentucky, and uh, there's no reason to believe that it's otherwise. Uh, it's been damaged of different times, including the tornado of uh, 1973. Uh, and so a new roof had to be put on at that time. Uh, new siding has been put on at various times. It's now not even used, it's not even walkable uh, to, to people. It's, it's uh, by itself, it's below a concrete structure. And we ask each other, why would they build bridges like this over periods of time? And there's of course the reasons given are generally related to having a wooden bridge which has a cover over it and that the pegs and the use of materials inside the bridge could be protected and therefore are not subject to water. That is one of the reasons why it is given. Uh, and it is a serviceable reason, but it's not the only one. One that is never hardly mentioned is that uh, my father, who was a horse farmer, uh, knew a lot about it. He said, well, the reason they have these bridges is because you could drive a buggy across and the animal would not get scared if it looked out and saw water and things like it would be if it were close. Horses can easily get scared by heights and so this way they can go across without anyone having to blindfold them or lead them and they can move right on through and it was a great opportunity for them in a day when we had 50 or more of these bridges in Kentucky. This one is one of our 11 but it's one of the ones that you cannot go through. So it's really an abandoned bridge, but it is one of them, and it's probably the oldest. It's also, and I'd like to mention, very near to the place where my grandfather brought his first family to Kentucky, and they, because this area was known as being a great place for having wine and growing grapes. And just when he got here was when they had the huge blight and he had to become a mixed farmer like the rest of the people around. But he would have not only seen, he would have used this bridge when he was a young person. This is one of the more beautiful covered bridges we have in Kentucky. It's the Goddard Bridge in Fleming County, eight miles from Flemingsburg, the county seat. And so we take a look at this bridge because it's very close to the highway that goes, Route 32 goes to Moorhead. And so it's a heavily used highway, and yet the bridge can be seen from it. Um, and of course you can drive across it. And so it's been built, rebuilt, uh, and uh, maintained very well. And uh, so it's a 60 foot long bridge covering the creek. And it also is a charming countryside. There's hills in the background. And there's the church that can be seen from one direction, which is really makes it the most fanciful bridge that we have in Kentucky. So we should take a quick look at it. Actually, they have a festival once a year on the last weekend of August uh, in which they actually celebrate this very bridge. Uh, we drove across, everybody could drive across. We are sort of standing at the end of the ropes for one of the greatest examples of covered bridges that we had in Kentucky. And that was the Sherborne Bridge, 263 feet long, 
This bridge was considered by many to be the longest uh, covered bridge in the world. Uh, it has been destroyed. It was destroyed in 1981. Prior to that, it was privately owned, and it was actually a toll was being paid for going across it on the tollway that went from Maysville to Mount Sterling. And as you can still see, they had a one big tower in the center. It was more or less a suspension type bridge. There is one tower of rock, and that still stands there in the Licking River. And it is sort of like a monument to the greatness of the covered bridges that one time numbered so many. There's only 11 left. This is not one of them. But it is the scene of where one of the great bridges that ever stood in our state had occurred. And so it's important for us then to remember that covered bridges had their time, had their place, removed and are now replaced in many ways by a concrete bridge like what we just came over uh, from on Route 11. But at one time, as pictures will show, this was one of the great bridges of our state. This is Al Fritsch at EarthHealing.info. Come and visit our site sometime and hear about many of the other things in our region.